American University is kicking off a diversity celebration this week. The week is co-sponsored by the School of Communication and the Center for Diversity and Inclusion. There will be panel lectures, workshops, movie screenings, and open discussions on various issues. Reporter Bridget Gales has more. American University is celebrating diversity all week long. Events highlighting diversity on campus will be happening every day during the School of Communications Diversity Week. SOC professor Amy Eisman explains how the week developed. The diversity committee decided that this would be a great opportunity to have a dialogue where the students were kind of leading the way. And then that grew into something bigger. The university became part of it. And so there you have this week that we're really very excited about and really proud of. The Center for Diversity and Inclusion is co-sponsoring the week of events. Tracy Livingston explains the importance of Diversity Week. This, uh, this week is really important for everyone on campus because diversity can be anything. Um, it, can just, it could be the veteran population, it could be race or gender, um, it could be the international population. Every student really is impacted a different way on diversity and AU um, in their strategic plan is really involved in bringing out diversity and supporting it. The week of events will include multiple panel discussions movie screenings, and workshops on diversity. To get involved, visit SOC's website. In Washington, for District Wire News, this is Bridget Gales. Former Senator Olympia Snow is speaking at American University tonight. The event is being hosted by the Kennedy Political Union, the Women in Politics Institute, and AU College Republicans. Snow served as a U.S. Senator for Maine for 18 years after serving in the House of Representatives for 16 years. Senator Snow is speaking tonight at 8.30 in the MGC University Club. The AU Board of Trustees announced a tuition hike for the next school year. But there is good news for students on the horizon. Jordan Derry has more. Approved budget from the Board of Trustees at AU has taken a new focus for next year. In a letter to the community, the Board details the changes. Tuition will only go up about 3%, but the biggest victory for students will be the increase in financial aid. The bump from 29 to 30% gives almost $1.5 million to the program. Much of the letter stresses how hard it'll be to keep tuition low. The board says factors like slow economic growth and the impact of the upcoming sequester were big factors in the decision. The letter also says the school is looking to philanthropy to fill the gaps in the budget. While school officials are proud of the increase in financial aid, Many students say it's about time. I think the students have, you know, really spoken and said that this is an issue and it's good to hear that they are, um, seems like they're responding because students, like you can't, you can't come out of school with all this debt. The board says they're worried about the long term. They say that the cuts today might affect future growth. Some students disagree. They say the slower tuition increase could attract more students in the future. So I do think that although they may not seem like the benefits of not having more money to spend on the school currently, in the long run it'll still be nice because it might attract more students to the school that before wouldn't have been able to afford it. The tuition increase comes in the wake of student protests last fall. Student groups like CAUSE called for an end to tuition increases. The board responded in the letter by saying today's success was a result from former students paying the price. For District Wire News, I'm Jordan Derry. Maryland students are once again at the top for having the highest AP test scores. College Board released the AP report to the nation, saying almost 30% of Maryland high school seniors scored a three or higher in 2012. Scoring a three or higher qualifies seniors for college credit. This is the seventh time Maryland students have topped the charts. Talk about a housewarming gift. Philanthropist David Rubenstein has just donated $10 million to George Washington's Mount Vernon home. The money will go toward creating the Fred W. Smith National Library, which will be home to rare papers and books. Rubenstein says Washington deserves the gift because he is a timeless example of leadership. The Pentagon is facing tighter restrictions in animal testing. After years of pressure from the animal rights group PETA, Congress is now ordering the Pentagon to submit a plan that would phase out live tissue training. Live tissue training kills animals to teach combat me medics how to treat wounds. PETA has fought to stop the use of animals in military operations since the 1980s. The Pentagon's report is due March 1st. 
coming up after the break, the potential for a non-European Pope. Will the Vatican choose a new Pope from Latin America or Africa? And the former, often controversial, Chancellor of DC Public Schools was back in town. We'll tell you why she's back in the district. 